All praises are due to Allah who says on the Holy Quran in Surah Al Tawbah, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. It is not for the mushrikeen to maintain the masjids of Allah while witnessing against themselves with disbelief. As for such, their works are useless and in the fire they will dwell. The masjids of Allah shall be maintained only by those who believe in Allah and the last day and establish the prayer and pay the zakat and fear none except Allah. Only for such people is it possible that they can be from the rightly guided. Sadaqallah al-Azim. 86 years ago, due to our own mistakes, because we removed the protector of mankind, the Khalifa, and wrong ones came to rule. 86 years ago, when the Hilafat was removed from this earth, and because of that removal, the world turned upside down, and part of that was the Ayah Sophia, the Ibadat Gah. It was close. It was not closed, and it was not done democratically either. It was done in secret, and it was done with the authority of the one that had no authority. Nobody could call it Zan. Nobody could make Ibadat inside. And with that change, the curse of Allah came to the entire Ummah. Establishing the houses of Allah, maintaining the houses of Allah, purifying the houses of Allah. It is the way of the prophets. It is the way of Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam. It is the way of Peygamber Efendi Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa alayhi salatu wasalam. More than 800 years after the Fatih of Mecca, one of the grandsons of the Holy Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam was honored with another Fatih with holding the title of Fatih, that grandson of the Holy Prophet that Sultan, that Saint, Sultan Mehmet Fatihan, is the one who was praised in the Hadith of the Holy Prophet Verily, you will conquer Constantinople. What a wonderful Amir will that Amir be. What a wonderful army will that army be. And the words of the Prophet speak the truth. And Sultan Mehmed Fatihan, he followed the tradition of the Holy Prophet When he entered Istanbul, when he entered the city, he did not go to where the palace is. He did not go to where the treasury is. He went straight to the Hagia Sophia. Why was that? Because it was established as a house of Allah, dating all the way back from the time of Sulaiman. He was returning it to its original state. The Ottoman earlier, they are saying that when the Byzantine Emperor was building Hagia Sophia, that the foundation, it wasn't working. And in his dream, he saw Hazir salam, who gave him the plans and said, look, this is the building plan for Aya Sophia, which were drawn long ago on the tablet of destiny. So even the name Aya Sophia came from the paradises. The meaning came from the paradises. The Ottoman Evliya said that Ayah Sophia itself, the meaning of it is Ibadat Gah, the place of worship. 
Evliya Chalabi Hazardari is saying that on the night of the Mevlid Nabi, the dome of Ayah Sophia fell down. And Hizir salam came to the king of that time and told them to go, go to Arabia, find that last messenger, find the promise of Isa salam, find the promise of Musa salam, find the promise of Suleiman salam, find the promise of Ibrahim salam, and ask him for help. Years later, they went the royal delegation from the Byzantine king to the Holy Prophet والسلام, who mixed his blessed saliva with the water of Zamzam. They returned with 70 camels loaded with Zamzam in the soil of Mecca and returned to Istanbul. They used it for the mortar of the Hagia Sophia which kept the dome in place. So when Fatih Sultan entered Istanbul and when he entered Hagia Sophia, he was entering the house of Allah. He was entering a place that had been built on the order of the heavens. He was entering a place that had been inspired through the order of Hazrat Hizr He was entering a place that was held together and held up by the blessings of the Holy Prophet He was entering a place that was his holy inheritance, just as the Kaaba Sharif was the holy inheritance of the Holy Prophet So Fatih Sultan entered Hagia Sophia and like his predecessor before Hazrat Ayyub Ansari who entered the Hagia Sophia he prayed two rakats and he looked at the people and said to them stand up I am Sultan Mehmet and I'm telling you your brothers and all the people here that your lives and freedoms are protected. And what did Fatih Sultan do once he purified that house of Allah? What did Fatih Sultan do? Once he bought with his own money the Ayah Sophia that had been in a state of abandon and dereliction for a very long time by the Christians themselves. What did Fatih Sultan do once he purified that house of Allah? He wrote a wasiyat that is preserved until today. He wrote his will that has been legal and effective since that day until today. He purchased the Hagia Sophia from his own wealth. It was the personal property of Sultan Mehmed Fatihan. And according to the laws of Shariat, according to every law of every civilization, he dedicated that Hagia Sophia to be a house of Allah, to be an ibadat gah a house of worship until judgment day. He wrote a contract on the skin of a gazelle, a contract that is preserved until today, a contract that included not only Hagia Sophia, but hundreds of other buildings. And he wrote, whoever changes this waqaf, which establishes Hagia Sophia as a masjid, whoever changes it from a masjid, I'm stating in your presence that he would be earning the greatest sin all the things I've explained have been written in this waqaf. The conditions may not be changed. The laws may not be amended. The waqaf may not be changed from its intention. Changes of any kind are haram. According to what Allah has made haram, may the curse of Allah, the angels and all human beings be upon anyone who changes even one of the conditions of this waqaf. These are the words of our Sultan, our genius Sultan, our saint, Fatih Sultan. He wrote, dedicating Ayah Sophia as a house of Allah from that day until Judgment Day. Our Shaykh, Sahib al Saif, Shaykh Abdul Karim al Kabirisi Rabbani, you saying, Ulu Hakan'ın Ayah Sophia camisini camilikten çıkaracak olana ne lanetler okumuş ki Evliyallah'tandır, Evliyallah'ın sözü de yere düşmez. Sultanül Evliya, Şeymullah'ın Muhammed Nazim Adil Ahakani Kadıflah Siri Seyyid. Ey kapananlar, hayır etmedi. Hayır da kapalıdır, etmeyecekti. Yıkılacaktır var. İlk vazifeleri Ayasofya'yı 
camiye döndürmektir. Döndürmedikleri bu müddetçe ağızlarıyla uç tutsalar bunlar hayır etmez. Yüksek himmet sahipleri. İnsanın radyo kıymeti ulumun himmetiyle bir. Miskin olamaz. Mumin. Ejderha gibi olacaktır. Engelci olacaktır. Maşallah. The opening of Hagia Sophia is the fulfillment of the words of our Sheikh and our Grand Sheikh and the duas of millions of righteous ones. This is not a small event. It is one of the great events. And it is an event that is leading to the age of Mahdi alayhi salam and Isa alayhi salam. This should be a time of celebration for the Muslims. This should be a time of shukr for the Muslims. This should be our bayram. The sunnah of Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam is continuing in the month of Zul Hijjah. A house of Allah is being purified from cruelty and oppression. The opening of Ayah Sophia is a crack in the kingdom of shaitan. It is more than a crack. And inshallah, through the power of that opening, the kingdom of shaitan and Dajjal will fall soon. Amin. May the Ottomans return. May the Ottomans return. May the Ottomans return. Ya Rabbi, please count us as those who are loving and honoring and respecting the Ottomans. Count us as those who are trying to live their lifestyle. Count us as those who are making the Ayah Sophia opening as a Bayram. Count us as those who want to be on the side of Haq and who want to stand against Batil. Let us to always follow our Sheikh, who is an Ottoman, who is a Haqqani. Make us to be like his shadow and always be with him. Make us to be obedient to him and have submission to him and have muhabbat to him. Make us to be with him in this life and next life for the sake of the last Jummah of this holy month, for the sake of the Holy Prophet ﷺ, for the sake of Sultan al for the sake of Sahib al-Sayf, for the sake of Sultan Mehmet Han, for the sake of all Anbiya and Awliya, please accept our duas. Forgive us, Ya Rabbi. We are very weak ones, Ya Rabbi, but with you, we are the strongest ones. Be with us, Ya Rabbi. We are trying to be with you. Make us to be with those ones who are with you, Ya Rabbi. Separate us from battle, Ya Rabbi. Separate battle from us, Ya Rabbi. Make us to be strong, Ya Rabbi. For, forgive us, Ya Rabbi, for the sake of the Holy Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. Amen.